Hi everybody and welcome back to Dynaboy 73, the small engine doctor. Today I'll be showing you the throttle linkage configuration on your Tecumseh overhead valve snowblower engine. And here's the engine that I'll be showing it to you on. It's not the most common engine on snowblowers, but you may want to bookmark this video if you do any carburetor work on your engine. And before I can show you the configuration, I just have to take off the carburetor cover. There's just four quarter inch bolts holding it on to the engine. Here it is, I've got the cover off, and here's the carburetor, here's one linkage, and there's another linkage down here. First of all, this is the choke linkage over here, basically the knobs here when the cover's back on, and it just moves this part here to choke the carburetor. Now I'll start with the throttle butterfly linkage here. It goes into this hole if you look closely, and here's the top view. Now if you follow this linkage, it goes down here, connects to the governor arm over here, and it's hooked into the furthest hole down. There's a little plastic bushing there as well, I believe. So that's all there is to this one. Now if I continue from here, you can see that in the hole closest to you, there's a spring hooked into it. It hooks into this one over here, goes down over here. There's another linkage here. Now this arm here is bolted down over here. Now I'm gonna follow this linkage. It's gonna go to the throttle lever mechanism. And you're going to see that this linkage is hooked into the hole at the bottom. So here's a view from further back. This should give you a good idea of how everything's hooked up. Now I'm just going to do a quick recap. I start up here, you can see it's hooked in over here. Now if you follow the linkage, it goes on to the governor arm, it's hooked into the hole which is furthest away from you. In the closest hole to you, there's a spring hooked into it. It hooks into this arm over here, goes down here to the engine. And part ways down this arm, there's a linkage that goes to the throttle lever mechanism. And in the throttle lever mechanism, the linkage is hooked into the hole at the bottom. So that's all there is to this. Hopefully this video has helped you. Make sure to bookmark it in case you do any carburetor work on your engine. If you put your carburetor back on and it's revving too high, you may have misplaced one of the linkages. So come back and look at this video. This will tell you if you did it correctly or not. Thanks for watching guys, hopefully this video has helped you or will help you in the future. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.